Gotta get this in the vlog. Look at this. So, the cosplayers once again coming out in full force here. Nice work. This is fantastic. So all of you have to climb into that thing. All of you. I don't need to. I'm, I'm the lucky one. Spike's the one who gets to hang out and be followed around by this thing. Spikey, Spikey, you're lucky. I love you because otherwise well, I fun. I get to bring my foot in the thing and pull it out inside so I can see things. <laughs> well, good work. Good work, Thank guys. You. I think it's wrong, guys. Oh, oh. What the heck? Is that? Fun fact, it's raining. It is? Yeah, I just noticed it because of the camera. Bronies! 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 Sam! It's a pillow, a regular size pillowcase of Sonata with tacos. Oh, that's hot. Yeah. Sauce. Yeah. That's Some nice. chocolate pony. You were looking for this exact thing. You wanted a Sonata pillowcase. Yes. And you got the last one. <laughs> Good timing. As we look down, it is a little wet outside. Looks like a light rain happening right now. Uh, Sunday here at Ponyville Cider Fest 2017. And we just got done, uh, started our day much like yesterday, started with a panel, a 10 a.m. panel, which was for the podcast panel, and had a good, fun turnout, had a, uh, a good group of, uh, well, people, and they had some good questions, so we had fun with that. Did you enjoy it, Paleo? Yeah. Okay. Now we're going to probably figure out lunch, and then Sabre and I are going to have a, a hand with the charity auction. As of right now, I think we're running the whole thing, but I don't know if they're going to have some, uh... Ah! Wow, only one. You... You only sneezed once? Did that just happen? Yeah. We just caught it on camera. You just sneezed once. Yeah. Are you okay? Are you really paleo steno? Ah! All right. At least I have a hood. Well, at least at least Milwaukee tried. You know, it was like you know, I can't give you snow, but I can try, and that's what it did. What we have here is California snow. Oh yeah, right. Like it rains in California, but uh. It's raining, and we're on our way to El Rocco Bottom. Yeah. Yeah. At least, at least it's not like hard rain. It's yeah. like very light rain. It's a. Uh, it's like chocolate rain. That guy was. <laughs> what an interesting. You know, it's it, not it's heavy so, rain. One hit a, wonder. Yeah. Well, I find it interesting. Uh, uh, not what I believe. He had a weird, well, not weird, but like a, an interesting name that kind of flowed. I can't remember what it was, though. Hey, Sunday? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. No, I, I find it fascinating because uh, you did Twitch, and you kind of see a, a good amount of people who, like... Like, Butch Hartman's been doing the YouTube Patreon live streaming thing. I give him credit for trying to integrate into, like, the internet, but it's kind of weird to see people from, like, the, the realm of Hollywood yeah. come over. Yeah. Like, Gilbert Godfrey has a Patreon. Go away. And one of his Patreon rewards is like, I'll leave you a voicemail. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, hey guys, Inception. It's the is, sin is copy the, thing. Is the city going to start, like, bum, bum, folding bum, on bum, itself? Bum, bum, bum. No, 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 no. But yeah, it is, it is weird. Like, it's not that they can't do it, you know? No, I know. But it also seems weird because, like, to me, like, I always like to look at the Patreon thing as people who actually, like, need Patreon. <laughs> Yeah. So like re Pony really on Patreon, please. Yeah, really help them on uh, you know on a financial side. Where like then you get people who are like, I don't need money. Well, I think Gilbert Godfrey does. Because um, <laughs> he, uh, I think he's kind of was a thing of the '90s. For every dollar he made, he got sued <laughs> or well, something. Makes you wonder about how like <gasps> listen to the That's cool. bell tower. Quasi murder. No, I, make, I, bells, I wonder what celebrity is considered the, the hardest it's, fall it's going to do all from grace. Which actor or yeah, actress? Both, you know, actor in general. Just I, I feel like 
like I'll throw in Lindsay Lohan into the mix. Yeah. She was one of those like, oh, a promising actress. Dude, she was beautiful too. Yeah, a lot of things went downhill. She but then she then she made it in <laughs> Scary <laughs> Movie Five and Her. kinda who <laughs> restarted her career. Who yeah. funny enough she had a scene with Charlie Sheen. Another guy who fell pretty hard from Grace. Yeah. He was like the biggest Hollywood star and like I think he was making more money than any movie star at that at that point. <laughs> does, he went nuts. Does Macaulay Culkin count as a No, it's life together actually. He looks a little healthier. No, yeah, he yeah, did you see the the thing? He did like a a joke video thing yeah. about like when I was a kid, yeah. my parents left me at home. Potatoes. Macaulay Culkin, yeah, I uh, I think he's doing a, a bit better. Yeah. Felt Brittany kind of bounced back because she was going. Yeah, she did. People were like, the thing is, the higher you are, the more likely the world's going to crucify you when you fall. Because they love. Britney Spears. What about what about um actors that just like disappeared? Like Rick, Rick Moranis. He's the one from uh, Honey, I Shrunk the Kids, right? Yeah. There's a reason why. Yeah. I think I told you. His, his wife got cancer. Oh, died. Yeah. Wow. And he had enough money to uh, retire. And he said, I'm going to raise my kids. Yeah. And I'm like, good on you. Man. Yeah. That is awesome. If you got, if you got you the got money. You got a bunch of roles offered, too. There, there's a couple, like, of people that kind of have that. Where it's like, where did they, where did they go? I, I like that though. Rick Moranis you know, is a good man. Another actor that's also like 70s and 80s. Um, oh. Oh. Crap. Who's the guy? Who's Willy Wonka? Oh, Gene Wilder? Gene Wilder. Yeah, yeah. I knew it was Gene. Um, but yeah, he died recently, but he wasn't really doing anything. Well, I mean, maybe. <laughs> how dare he enjoy like, his. How dare he enjoy his retirement? Old. <laughs> yeah, well, some people just want to be done and, and yeah. take a break. Because uh, he didn't do anything like plus, the 80s. I wonder, I wonder how much, like, you always hear about this in careers, how much things change from, like, oh, this isn't how it used to be, like, when I was doing stuff in the 70s. Yeah, where's my plates of cocaine? <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, like, like that's legitimate. Like, sometimes people are just like, I just don't like, you know, the the industry anymore. It's changed in certain ways. That, well, Carrie Fisher said that, like, when they, uh, like, she went to her dressing room, there were like legitimate plates of cocaine waiting in there for you. So you know and uh, get you in the zone. Oh. Huh. Oh well actors get like oh you I this is like a scene out of a uh, like close Joke. encounters right now. Yeah. Like the car alarm, yeah. the What oh you want to get a video of it? Yeah. This is cool. Tripod walking through the city. <laughs> <laughs> Did that truck go a bit too far? Or? I think that's a construction truck. We should run and jump on the bridge. Like that one fake <laughs> yeah, Nike commercial. Ha. Ha. Oh, yeah, it's a pretty big boat. No, I gotta smell that water. Mmm. You can walk down this way and then head up. I'm curious about other people to comment in the comment section of like on this topic just to see other people that people come up with. Like, oh, about what? That fell from grace in Hollywood. Uh, well, you know, uh, what's his name? Who's the guy from this? Gene, 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 uh, Simmons? Gene Simmons, yeah. He's kind of a piece of shit because he like, uh, he saw it hard. You know, like, it's a little mallet over there. There's a, yeah. uh, cause he, they, there's even like kiss like toasters and yeah. kiss caskets too. Kiss caskets. He does what? Kiss caskets. Yeah. Yeah. Why? Because. Because. Are you, oh, this, they, they're moving pretty fast. Um, I was gonna say that like, there's a bit of hints of like, salts in the air, but it's not like as strong as the other thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hard related to the boat. Hi. Yeah, hey, people are waiting. They must recognize us from YouTube. Yeah. I mean, I said this one that it's gone uh, <laughs> That's cool. Right, That's cool. That's neat. Guys, if you all, like, had $50 million, would you ever want to have a boat? I think so. Really? Yeah. 
But I don't know how well I would be with like maintaining it. I know nothing about boats. Warm Allen's a little dog over there. So <laughs> are they, is, is, is that just the male and female of the species like right there? The yeah. yeah. The male are the oh, pretty. Flowing, by the way. Yeah. Yeah, so these are the male ducks, and then the uh, these are the female ducks. It's kind of funny how, like, like in nature, we tend to see, like, the guys are the ones who really have to, like, so to speak, show off. Yeah. And, uh... Peacocks are, uh, the fans of yep, males. Yeah. Yep, yep. And then, and then, like, but in oh, humanity, no, I feel like there's kind of a role reversal there, where it's, like, guys are like, oh, the women are so pretty. But we, they, but we... You're right. It's like the, the females dress up, but the males are still the ones that court. Males are the ones who take the first step usually, and also they they have their own way of showing off. Hey, look at my checkbook. Hey, look how big my you know muscles are. Muscles. Look at my house, my car, my ween, my peeny. My <laughs> pasta, my peeny pasta. Yeah, I, I find it fascinating. Humans are so interesting. Whoa, you are a friend in need. A friend in A friend. Uh, Applejack needs our help. Mm. Yeah. Guys, cheese curds are incredible. That being said, we're going to eat up. They use um, American cheddar in these versus um, the lake from where they use, I think, mozzarella. Yeah. So good. And I got a club sandwich, and Paleo got a root bear. Paleo's like the little bird that hangs onto the hippo and just eats the bugs off of It's actually eating the hippo. They're vampires. I swear to you. Hey, are those a vampire? Yep. They're more angry, actually. It's raining. Huh? This is raining. It's, this is like rain cold, not cold. Rain. Okay, weatherman, baby. Rain cold. <laughs> left. You can go left, Bailey. <laughs> <laughs> Bailey, why did you bring a hoodie? What? Why did you bring a hoodie? Because I always have hoodie. Why? It says it's good to walk. I don't know if we're gonna make it. It's raining. No! Why is the rain going this direction? I don't know. Would you guys? Yeah. It was the. It was the flag. I was like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I missed the snow. The rain is too wet. Yep. Nah, Oh wow, another autograph line. What's over there? I'm gonna do the renegade stage. Charity auction coming up, probably next or something. I'm gonna go to the vendor hall soon. Otherwise, we're gonna get a pileup. So, is it that okay with everybody? We got it. Yeah. All right. We're running a little late. My lovely enemies. <laughs> 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 That's funny. No, you can use that one. There we go. I only win. Center, maybe don't realize that hey, we're doing the charity auction right now. I want you guys to get your hands in the air, show us some excitement right now. All right, now I'm gonna figure out how to tweet. <laughs> He's still on MySpace. Can we beat 1100? No, you sure? All right, we're gonna push it here. $1,100 going once. $1,100 going twice. So twice! Sold!
definitely special. And I'm going to pass the microphone off. Hey, everybody. Hi. Hey. Good convention. Woo! Raise some money for a great charity. Yeah. All right, cool. Uh, you may not know me. Uh, I try to happily stay in the background. Uh, I've actually been in the Phantom since pretty much the beginning. Uh, I love working conventions. And when it came time to name myself, because you know we all give ourselves a name in the Phantom, in my infinite creativity, uh, I decided to call myself Beardy. So, <laughs> hi. Hi, Beardy! Hi, Beardy! So, uh, I've gone to a lot of conventions, like I said, and there's always these nice charity events at the end. And never has one spoken to me quite like the one here has. Because I think I, like a lot of people here, have had issues with bullies in the past. And these guys are going to be doing a really great thing with the money. So I thought that this convention, uh, I would do something a little bit different. And I would throw myself into the ring and uh, put my beard up for auction. Oh, yeah! so, so I have a couple of other people here who are also going to be throwing some facial hair into this as well. Yes, it sucks. 
For charity. For charity. Oh, it's for charity. So it's kind of like, just kind of like make a, make a bowl. Oh, make a bowl. Right up, pay respect. Oh, yeah. Any last words? Thank you. Did you my glasses off? Big, big, big round of applause for this lovely, lovely man. <laughs> This is gonna be so weird. Here's hoping the battery doesn't die halfway through. <laughs> when you go through security, they're not gonna recognize you.
was the twist you didn't see coming? No, no one saw this coming. <laughs> this is the final haircut. I love, I love that you tried to auction off your beard and yeah. all of a sudden the saber ended up full. Yeah. You know what? I'm, I'm, it's I'm, almost like you planned it. I'm strangely okay with this. No. Shut up, Marty. Look at that. Stop saving it. <laughs> Maybe we can trim their beard after all. No, no, I think it's fine. No, but seriously. <laughs> Don't throw them in the fire. Well, no, it, it does not look bad. I, um... I mean, it probably feels really weird, but, like, honestly, dude, mm -hmm. it works on you. <laughs> yeah. 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 Hey, brother. <laughs> so we showed up thinking really Beardy's beard was... Out there, buddy. Hey, beer brothers, right? No, 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 we gotta do it like dwarves. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. I knew, I knew someone was gonna eventually oh turn to me God. and be like, so. Yep. Um, <laughs> all right. Dude, mad props. If he gets. How does it feel? It feels windy. Yeah? Well, it's nice, cool, and windy. There's actually, like, there's hair on my screen. Are you serious? I see the little hair. I think I do. Yeah, I do. Yeah. 
Oh, this is good for charity. Yeah. I'm so proud of this man. Thank you. I thought that was really cool. Well, guys, we're closing in on the end of Ponyville Cider Fest. 27. Yeah, you're leaving in a bit. Oh. Yeah, soon. All right, folks, so during our stay here at Ponyville Cider Fest, we've all discovered a, an incredible talent that we all have. Are you ready? What? Are you ready? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Tabor, how are you doing? <clears throat> That's like my butt. And go. He got a big booty bear. A big booty bear. And that's what I learned when I went to Wisconsin. Sarah, he's gonna be your husband. <laughs> I'll carry the baby. <laughs> ah, so as the conclusion of Ponyville Cider Fest 2017 is about to happen, um, I want to mention that next year they already have dates for Ponyville Cider Fest 2018. It's gonna be Halloween time once again, October 26th through the 28th. Uh, very excited about um, the date change actually uh, it really really helps out on uh, on my <laughs> schedule. So so that's awesome. Oh, the elevator's here. <sighs> my favorite car salesman. He's here. This charity auction has been going on for like three hours, and people still have money left. Yeah, it's, it's amazing. amazing. I think over 16, 16 grand right now. Yeah, you are. You're closing on seventeen. Yeah. Great. Okay, so we've got 100. Where's my 100? I got 200. I got 300. They're at, they're at 17,000. Yeah, 17,000. 17,000. All right. Martha Small, 17,000. Yeah. They're amazing, man. I tell you. They're at 500. They're at 500. They're at 500. Five hundred. 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 Can we, can we open that up if you want to, can we, let's say, 50 bucks ahead, if you want to be in the picture, $50 ahead, put your, if you want to do... Oh, I should be careful with my filming. Yeah. I just realized, I'm holding my camera above everyone else. So we got, we got, we got a picture of Larry, so we're up at a uh, 650 total. 650, come back to me. Anybody else want to buy into the picture for $50? Larry, so we're at 700 total. 700, come Another on Another picture, 750 total. Oh, no, no, everybody's running over. If you want to get in on the picture, so Holy crap. 
Off the streets, just like oh, I <laughs> watch the entire, all the uh, everybody up here goes in back, goes there. She's crying. <laughs> oh. Really? They might break 20. 2700. I think we will. Oh my god, if they break $20,000. They're on their way. I'm going for it. Go, Beardy, go! <laughs> I'm gonna be here for a while taking pictures. How's Saber doing? Okay. She's rubbing her head against everything. <laughs> <laughs> They just broke twenty thousand dollars here. Yeah. 
conference. Mm -hmm. uh, you've joined a very important club. Uh, a very elite club of <laughs> gentlemen. You're right. I walked in, mm -hmm. you know, three hours into a charity auction. I was like, this is more. That packs of clubs. Packs of clubs. Have a mimosa. Who's got a con book here? Who can tell me when Cyberfest is coming? Jesus Michael here, yeah. Is there a guy? Thank you very much. <laughs> That's exactly right. October 26th through 28th. You've broken the curse and started the new one. Cyber Guy Forever! Well said! Well said! I just want to say thank you one more time. You guys are amazing. You know, you're always so wonderful. We have a lot of lines. Everyone's so patient and so giving and so kind to each other. And it's just like, you know, when I first walked into this fandom, when Charlie tricked me into coming to Cider Fest, it was a beer festival. <laughs> and I came up the escalator, and I was like, oh my god. <laughs> yeah. um, you know, I was totally, like, not having it, and within maybe, like, a half an hour, you guys completely won me over. I love the fandom. I love everybody here. I love coming here. This is the first year you finally got me that cherry auction, man. I, like, teared out finally. The she never shows emotion. chair of Equestria LA, they're also going to be having their last year this year. So once again, everybody, please say, have a great con, Equestria LA. Of course. I'm going to be the, I'm the chair for Equestria LA's uh, charity auction, and I, I know the number that you guys just gave to these lovely people over here. I really want to see y'all over in Equestria LA. Whoever's going to really open up those wallets, because our, our charity is for the Wildlife uh, Learning Center, and the animals also need your help too. So, I want to see you in LA. I want everybody to please say, hi Corey, we miss you. Uh, I'm kind of looking forward to your next react. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what? So what? He's, he's going to have to put on a microfiber um, wig first. I'll put on a swim cap. Buy a wig. Yeah. <laughs> 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 you should wear one of Laura. It's still in your pockets, right? Yeah. I'll take it back on. Really 100 of the finest people that I've ever had the opportunity to work with. Please give them a round of applause. What? Class. Tweeting. Everybody, make sure you can see the camera in the middle so the camera can see you, everything. I don't think they can hear us. Cider. <laughs> This concludes, regrettably, but I think say thankfully, Ponyville Cider Fest slash Oktoberfest 2017. Thank you so much. Have safe trips home. You're all amazing. Thank you. And good night. Well done. Bring those chips to the rainy day. So we Take the Bailey yeah. Nico and just toss them. <laughs> Anti bowling. <laughs> we're going to the staircase, aren't we? Because we're Bit. awesome. Do 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 do. Thank. All right, folks. Well, we are just now getting to the goodbye time. Paleo first with you. How was Ponyville? How was Ponyville Cider Fest 2017? It was good. Yeah? Yeah. I made root beer candy. That's all you need. Mm hmm Yeah. Any highlights for you? Anything that was like, stood out? Uh, Who's Line is always very good. Yeah? That, yeah. Was, that was a lot of fun. It was cool to yeah. have you uh, involved in some of the games. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. yeah. Anything else? Um, I did not get my body pillow, but I did get something else. I did get this. It's a Sonata, just a regular size pillow. Oh. Nice. So you still have room for another body pillow. Yes, because I have an actual like body pillow. Body it pillow. It doesn't have any sleeve. Yes. Yes. Well, cool. As always, it was a fun time hanging and watching you deal with Saber Spark. Yeah. <laughs> Saber, how was Ponyville Cider Fest 2017? Mm. That good. That good. good. We had a lot of fun. Uh, kind of on an unusual like Saturday night. Like yeah, usually, we're, we're winding down at that point. It's like we're getting ready, like putting our old like pajama and man hats and candle. <laughs> yeah. Going to sleep. But we had uh, we were full of energy, and I need to wash my hands actually. And we were full of energy, and we uh, went to the gaming room, played games. We went to the to the rave, and we raved, and we went to the tabletop room. We got drinks, and it was it was a good night. It was good. Hey. Yeah, I, <laughs> I really hope this con uh, comes back, which it, it is. I hope they have us. Cider Fest, I was like, whoa, they already are breaking the records on the first day, and it, it seemed like there was a, a quite the increase of attendance, and just creativity, and the staff has always been on point. I love Cider Fest. And I hope to uh, return next year. Oh, I got my head shaved too. That happened. That happened. That happened. Wait. I haven't... Wow! Oh, Laura's gonna love that. <laughs> yeah, she is actually. <laughs> a doctor, she's like... I've she's like, okay. And then I was like, charity, and she's like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's temporary, right? I want to never grow back. <laughs> that would be pretty funny. Um, but yeah, as always, Saber. A grand time it was. Count out, wait for the next one, which is mm-hmm. in about three weeks. Is that question right? Is it three weeks? I think so. Oh shit, I gotta get to work on my stuff. Man. That was a month. That's that like a month. It's less than a month. Yeah. Goodbye, Bella. Goodbye. 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 Which, that one's Goodbye. gonna be a Goodbye. much larger Goodbye. group of uh, people. Yeah. yeah. Wait, Disney. Jax will be there and Hero will be there. Oh, Laura, right. yeah. Sarah. Um, that's gonna be a bigger group. Uh, gonna be wild. It's it's always interesting. Oh, David, David, don't be there. Uh, Gabe, Nathaniel. It's always interesting because I feel like you and I go to go to most conventions. It's a common denominator. Mm-hmm. But uh, you still kind of see some variation from place to place. Where it's like, oh, it's a Fiesta Quest uh, group, and it's the Bernie uh, Gone group, and it's the Cider Fest group, and yeah, uh, Everton Northwest. Look what's true. So many groups. Well, Ponyville Cider Fest 2017, success. Everyone success. seemed like they had a great time. We had, I think, one of our. Uh, I love saying it because I, I feel like Who's Line just keeps getting better and better. That was surprisingly good. Yeah, you know, considering circumstances, we had two newbies join us, and they did great. They did real good. Considering all things, it went really well. Yeah. So. It's time for me to get to the airport. You guys have a fun rest of your stay. You'll be flying home. Safe travels. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Okay, so we're trying out this new place, Joe. It's called Culver's. Culver's. Yes. And they have Culver's root beer. Yes. And we're here with Casey. Yes, there's diet root beer here. There's diet root beer. There's diet cheese curds. And what are they? Butter what? Butter burgers. Sh- these are butter burgers. I don't know what it is, but I like it. Yeah. And they, oh my God, where's the can thing? You, hey, can you guys tell that they're from California? I can. Hey, Every day. But we were excited. They gave us ice cream! Because we're new. Yeah. <laughs> we're like kids in a candy store. <laughs> yes. We're so excited. You can get cheese curds instead of french fries here. Or Life is so good in this area. Isn't it? That you should move to the Midwest. You'll enjoy the snow. No. 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 You've disappointed me. But it's still real cool here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to eat up and then get to the airport. I give you guys a friendly little um, custard ice cream. Well, 
Well, it's a friendly Midwestern word of advice. Yeah. Don't no, call custard know. ice cream. It doesn't right. say is this, ice cream. It is it legitimate. Does not say ice yeah, cream. Yeah. Call it custard. Is this a throwdown? Way different things. We're gonna uh, have custard. We're, yeah, that's right. We're custard gonna have custard. 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 It's way better. Now, if I if I was caught on the street saying the word ice cream, what yeah. would happen? I don't know. My husband and I live in Milwaukee. I don't know. You might have to fend for yourself. Stromberg, <laughs> come on. Well, I'm, I'm gonna just put. To be no, no, it's cool. You, want. you should have seen. People are gonna correct you. You should have seen what I put ketchup on my Chicago dog. Oh. Blasphemous. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's okay. You and you made too, a mistake. But... You told them the mistake that said it said it was ice cream. No, they yeah. gave you custard. No, that was the first thing yeah. I found out I did. <laughs> but we understand your love for cheese curds. We get that. <laughs> yes. I lost my custard chip. Your custard. It's 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 kind of like the whole Disneyland thing where you're like, it's not a season pass. It's an annual pass. You too. <laughs> I feel like I offended somebody, Joe. Uh, you offended the Midwest. <laughs> the whole Midwest. <laughs> Take that, Midwest. I'm gonna get the caramel turtle custard. Not ice cream. Custard. Thank you, sir. Enjoy. You made our stay here wonderful. Thank you. Glad to hear that. Oh, yes. Just like that, ladies and gentlemen, we drive away from LAX and on to less green pastures. Sarah Brown, 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 Brown. Gabriel Brown Prash Pastures. Brown. Brown and on fire. It's three. Hey, um, where I just came from. Look, Sarah, is it nice coming to LAX early in the morning? No. Why? There's no one here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Bill, it's not fun driving at 1 o'clock in the morning. That's what you say, but I can tell you, you've had fun. No. Yeah. So, folks, that's a wrap here on Race's Ponyville Cider Fest 2017 Adventures. And an adventure it was. Well, there was a lot of stuff that happened this weekend. Uh, some of it really didn't see coming. Um, and then uh, a lot of it was also pleasant surprise. Uh, you know, from from Friday morning's arrival time, having to, to go through all that. Not the first time I've had to deal with an early, early morning and then jumping into a convention and whatnot. But it was weird because my energy level was like fluctuating the whole weekend because of it. So like a Saturday afternoon, I was like super tired. Saturday night, for some reason, I was like way awake. I don't know, it was hard to pinpoint. But it was a heck of a lot of fun. Uh, from the Bronies Rag panel that we started things off with, uh, we did the Who Would Win panel and had a great turnout, a lot of interaction with that one. Our YouTube and podcast panels, both a lot of really good questions on those. Obviously the podcast panel had a bunch of random questions where the YouTube one was more, uh, I guess you could say specific to YouTube. But a lot of great questions throughout this weekend, a lot of fantastic attendees that we met. Um, I got some incredible artwork uh, from, from some amazing people, including Britt. Uh, so thank you again. Um, and yeah, it just, it was so, it was so much fun. We love this convention out in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, Ponyville Cider Fest, and its sister convention, Winnie City. Uh, it's so obvious that it's in, good hands, you know, or who's. You could tell a good convention by its leadership because the staff clearly enjoy 
helping out, volunteering, working. I mean, it, it, it just shows in so many ways. And, and Ponyville Cider Fest continues to impress us every time we do this. This was my third year doing Ponyville Cider Fest. I, I certainly hope I'm back for 2018 because it's just so much fun. And I, Sarah, I ate like one cheese curd the whole weekend. Uh-huh. 100. 100! It was just fantastic. Uh, the, the Hooves Line panel that we did, we had Jay Holler on for the first time ever. You know, just a, a friend of ours that were like, hey, what do you think about doing something like this? Uh, and then we also brought in uh, De Wilsonator, and it was both those guys had never done it with us, but it it went so good. <laughs> it was uh, it was so much fun. And uh, what, sir, what did what did you do? What have you done? I don't know. Someone must have had a lot of gas. Yeah, I mean that who's line um, was just great. It was just, it was just, again, it was a lot of fun. Uh, it, <laughs> what? Sarah, Sarah, good job on that, on the stuff, girl. The, uh, the Who's Line was great. Yes. Yeah, I wasn't even thinking of that route. <laughs> like, yeah, whoever set that up did a real good job. And then we did like some things that we haven't ever done before, like the lip sync battle, um, run by uh, Tune Critic and, and stuff like that. You know, it's just if you ever go to one of these conventions, get out there, try a bunch of stuff, try everything. Sarah shut off the camera. You didn't like my joke? No. Oh, okay. Just had a blast with all the panels. Uh, not to mention, it was a complete honor once again to be involved with the script reading with uh, Tabitha St. Germain scripts. Uh, she is, she's so much fun. And and it just shows in her writing and the stuff that she comes up with and, and the way that all the show staff are able to have fun uh, with all of her scripts. Uh, this, it, it's such a treat to be able to join up there and be the narrator, also have a role as a character. Um, so thank you Tabitha again for having us be a part of that. Uh, and then there were also a couple things that we uh, we were a part of, like the friendship auction, something we've never done before, and they've never done before. Uh, and we were able to raise over a thousand dollars for charity, so that was sweet. And then, of course, the charity auction uh, he, today, hours ago, where we raised over twenty thousand dollars for Generations Against Bullying. Uh, so that's that's so cool. Good work, everybody. Um, to all the staff, to all the, um, to everybody that volunteered at this convention, to, uh, I'm going to throw out a specific to Joe for, for once again, helping us get around and, and, uh, always being cool. Um, you know, to all the staff out there that leads up to Michelle and Charlie, um, just such, so helpful, so good to everybody that's there. Um, thank you. Thank you for always working with a smile. Thank you guys for for always uh, you know helping out when needed. Help you know being there, making it clear that you guys are ready to help out if it's if it's needed. Just so good. Ponyville Cider Fest 2017 was awesome. Uh, to all the attendees, to everybody that came up, asked for an autograph, a picture. Um, you know, just wanted to say hi, or those that threw out, oh, you know, love your work or whatever. I I love meeting new people, and it, it was so cool to meet the people that we've seen for years. It was so cool to meet new faces who have never been to a convention before. And uh, yeah, I mean, I, I just I loved it. I had so much fun. I also throw out, of course, to my friends there at the convention. Um, you know, I mean, some of them I've already mentioned, but. Uh, <laughs> The, the wildest moment, I think, for me at this whole con was when Saber Spark agreed to shave his head for $500 towards charity. I, I, didn't, I didn't think that he would do it. I even told him while we were up there, I'm like, you know you don't have to do this. Like, it, it, you know, 
there's nothing that holds. He didn't. He didn't ever promise like, oh, if they donate this much. That was so spontaneous, and it was just a shout out from the crowd. But Sabres probably went through with it. Decided, you know what, I'm gonna do it. Um, and you know, props, props to him. Um, I. He impressed me with that move. I was like, holy cow. You know, what did you think of that, Sarah? Um, it was funny. It was funny? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> uh, do you think Laura was excited about it? It didn't seem like it. No? <laughs> no, it didn't. It'll it. grow back, Laura. <laughs> It'll grow back. She's just sitting back like, what? <laughs> oh, man. But uh, Sabre and Paleo, um, always a pleasure. You know, we, we had a heck of a lot of fun this weekend. Um, it was uh, it was just great. It You're was just blurry. I'm blurry. Yeah. That's because this is almost the end. This is the end. This is the end of Ponyville Cider Fest 2017 vlogs. But folks, stay tuned. Because not only do we have some big videos in the works, <laughs> Brony Drag to <laughs> Perfect Pair. <laughs> I think I coughed at the wrong time during all that. However, we also have Equestria LA 2017 happening in just a few weeks. Stay tuned as more vlogs come, more videos come, and I I will bring you more. Good night, everybody. <laughs> That's all I know.